Okay, cool. Hello everyone and welcome. I am Slowfat Wombat and this is Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition Stream Number 2. I don't think I changed the title. Whoopsie. Anyways, what we are going to be doing in this stream is just continuing on with the dossiers of this uh, game and everything like that. We might actually do some scanning of the planets to get like Iridium, Plutonium, Palladium and all that shit. Um, if you have any hints, tips, tricks, or questions, feel free to ask me, and I'll try my best to answer them. Other than that, let's get into this and have some fun. Now, just to tell you this, I have played all the Mass Effect series, so I kind of know pretty much what's what's happened and everything like that. Okay, so... Probe. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Launching probe. Oh, every. T Why is that a thing? Why can't just escape? Be just go back to the fucking. Sorry, I keep forgetting that this game is different to um, Mass Effect 1. Wait, didn't? Yeah, I scanned this one yesterday. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll scan all the planets and everything to just find this stuff. Probe away. In research projects, Element Zero is used for bioamp and Omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Probe launched. Oh, I was going to see if I was actually streaming. Whoops. Oh, I don't want premium, okay, YouTube, for fuck's sake. No, I didn't change the title. Whoops, sorry, everyone. My bad. But I am live, so that's a good thing. Launching probe. I don't really know if this is all worth it, honestly. I've just got so much for Mass Effect 1, so I just don't know if this is worth it. Probe away. Probably is in the long run. Doing this with the analog stick would be so much easier. But, oh well. Still a good planet. Ooh. Probe launched. How many probes are 18 probes left? Moderate. When I get to moderate, we'll just leave. Love it how this doesn't cost fuel. Sensors. 
I think I need my gun out for this. So I see all these little t dog tags? Yeah. They're all over the place. There's 20 of them. And we'll do that at the end. <clears throat> the monument's the last thing you put down. So, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'm sorry if it's not really entertaining or fun or un or whatever, what, what other people are doing on their streams with this game, but... You know, that's just the way it is. So many people lost. Hold on one sec, sorry, just remember something. I can do that while we're while movies happening. What was that? No, I don't wanna place the monument. Than Mako. So we went in there, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah, because that's where Joker is. I'm not leaving this place until I find all 20 of them. I 
I wonder what the SR means, like Space Ranger or Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Ugh. This one. So I need to find four more sparkly shiny things. And then we'll place a monument in front of the, no the Normandy. This is the thing, I just don't know where the rest of the... Oh. Okay, well, it looks like we can go out here. Oh. I didn't know we could go out on the ice. Oops. Nothing. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one. Two to go. It's gonna be the very last one that I've just. Uh... Hector Emerson. I wonder if these are people who actually worked on the game. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, seriously? You guys, come on. Yeah, the game looks good, but you could have reworked some of it. How big do you want your monument? Oh, I could have done ages ago. Okay. Oops. Probe 
away. Probe launched. Probe launched. sensors. This is the one thing I love about Mass Effect 2. There's all these unexplored planets or things that we don't know, so we just go and explore them and find, like, armor and weaponry and shit.
should punch through their armor. Okay, I think we're done there. Okay, what was up here? Garrus! Garrus! We can't go back there. God damn it. Launching probe. Launching probe. Again, I don't really know if I need all this probe shit. There's a mod where this is automatic. Probe launched. Animata probes. Because when you, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, what I might do. What I might do, I might just go around to all the...
Yeah, so this is what I'll do. I'll... I'll go to each planet, but if it doesn't say she's picked up an anomaly, I won't scan it. Okay, we're done here. I think there was... Caravamori. This one. What did I just say? Recruit the convict, institute project overlord, recruit the warlord, help Zaid. Okay, um... <sighs> yeah, I'll take both of them. Because they're not with Cerberus. Maybe that might be easier. Oh, right. That's how they've done it. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea, 
Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with this. Have there been escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Yeah, this doesn't feel sus at all. Inhumane. Unacceptable. Hey! Hey guys, over here! Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. I should go. Wish I could go. I hear the screaming in my head. Processing is through the door on the far side of the room. Where is everyone? My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. if you hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. However, required if we want to get Jack out of stasis. I'm doing it. Be ready. Jack is a girl. That's Jack.
Leave nothing to the imagination. I was going to turn up my music to 50, wasn't I? Whoops. We have to get down there. Hold on one sec. after us or
You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety, and we're asking for your help. We could knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not gonna attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Well, I think they grew her boobs in this game. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, Precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way.
we've received a new message at your private terminal. That was fun, for the time. Uh, okay, um... Fire! Fire, ma! Looks like an hourglass, that's why I have to cut the hourglass nebula. Wait, what did that say? Do I not have enough? Platinum. Launching probe. Probe launched. Nah, we're not going to worry about that. If I need to get more, I can easily... So, if I... If I need to get more stuff, I can easily just go and collect this shit off stream. Like, go and collect the palladium, palladium and all that. I have detected an anomaly. Let's have the two, my two fo most hated people. Sorry, hold on one sec, just give me a second. One second. Where are you, that one? Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh...
out of ammo, great. Sorry, save 17. What's that? That was it? Heavy weapon ammo. Oh, come on. Okay. <coughs> All right, well, that was fun. Seventeen out of twenty, so. Sensors. Oh, the shit. Right, this one. Oh, right. So I have to go this way, okay?
No, I can't get it. It's got to be down here. Can't be up there because of that. Oh, fuck's sake! It's so over these games having different. I have to shoot something? Oh. Alright, well there we go. Guys, oh my god, you developers, why couldn't it just be a simple press of a button? No, you gotta press this button and have this button and hold this.
<laughs> Sorry. Recruit the Warlord. Okay, so we'll recruit the Warlord and then we'll help Zaid and then we'll go to the Citadel. The Warlord? I forget who the Warlord is. Garrus, oh, no, I haven't had Jacob in a while. Yeah, we're getting them too. Oh, wait, is this one... This one might have been better with the other two. The dossier doesn't say if Okira's on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. That is the worst. Hand orders over loudspeaker? Who does that? Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. I've got a nice application of metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather, I just keep walking. Son of a bit. I, I just. I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there. He, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol? The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all of this? We can't go in the labs. But everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy. Mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. What's Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. She can't control them. 
They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Was scaring him like that necessary? Maybe not. Felt good, though. Come on. <laughs> Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation, legal and otherwise. Watch them. Watch them. <laughs> I feel like they've made uh, Commander Shepard a bit more of a hard ass in this game. <laughs> cycles and I have felt only the need to kill but you something makes me speak seven night cycles days they must breed them full size ready to kill not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training bread to kill no I kill because my blood and bone tell me to but it's not why I was flushed from glass mother survival is what I hear in my head against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. Taught him enough to test for something. But what? I don't know, but I am not perfect. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It like that. But it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A lab with Krogans. This another genophage cure attempt? Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. He was grown in a tank. It's probably crazy, like that Merc said. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. 
I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okira expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? No idea. Doesn't look like he's had much success with these Krogan. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The Glass Mother. She is up past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Thank you. Glad he's on our side for now. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. You could have run, or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me, if they come, I fight. But I will not run, and I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called, released. They put a lot of work into this. Not a lot of room to maneuver. Stay sharp. Hey, Luce! Run for your damn life! They're all free! I have missed this game. I'm not going to deny that. I have missed playing this game. I've missed everything that this game has to offer. You know, the, the upgrades, the storylines, the mission. I really don't care that much for the graphics, as other people do. But yeah, I've missed just the way that it's so in-depth now. Like, it's just a lot more stories and everything. I'll take it. Hostiles incoming. <clears throat> Just threw my shield. Shit. Oh, there's no map either, that's what I'm missing.
Sure. That's a nice view.
No one dropped, am I? I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab. Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. What's Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. <laughs> That's going to bite you in the ass someday. on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. I take it you're okay here? You don't seem particularly caged, or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased Shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised? Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my reject for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about collectors. Nothing more. I see. Yes. Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I 
I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I feel no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them Mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype. After I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the Genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the Genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the Genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. I say, let us carry the Genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. Your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct a threat. Will you help us? Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Attention! I've traced the Krogan release. Oh, here, of course. I'm calling blank slate on this project. Gas these commandos and start over from Okir's data. Flush the tanks! She's that weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the Collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. You could just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done.
Sierra's done something back in the lab. What the hell? The lab alarms coincided with the system's failure. The remaining lab systems are unprotected, and I have gained limited access. According to lab scanners, the room is flooded with toxins, and Okira's personal life signs are failing rapidly. I recommend... Contamination detected. Emergency vent in progress. Contamination detected. Emergency vent in progress. He was ruthless, but died to save this one Krogan? A bullet in the brain would save us a lot of headaches. A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. We can always use another heavy hitter. If he'll help. I doubt anyone's asked for his opinion. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. <laughs> about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. There's no way he's getting out unless one of us lets him out. Or unless Okir installed some sort of failsafe. Or a malfunction causes the tank to shut down. I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo holds is safe enough while I decide what to do with them. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Caden Alenko, is stationed on Horizon. Last I knew, Caden was Alliance. Why is he out the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies, but they're up to something. And if they send Commander Alenko, it must be big. I suggest you take it up with him. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the Professor. Aye, aye, Commander. Tell me you have something. Yes. got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Commander. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that?
Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover you. Run. Hurry. I'm not rushing this either if you want to know. Yeah, I'm not rushing this either. I'm control. Sure, these armor upgrades will protect us from the seeker swarms? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers, should confused detection make us invisible to swarms? In theory. In theory? That sounds promising. Experimental technology. Only test is contact with seeker swarms. Have to test them in person. Should be exciting. <laughs> really weird about this right now I'm not I'm not hating the game I'm just saying the collectors are organics so synthetics are um, robots that's apparently what they are in this game so collectors are synthetics right or no no collectors are organic so no matter what That is a massive fucking ship, man. 
ship. Commander, we're getting off interference. We can't maintain the field. Collector ship disrupting communications. We're on our own now. Those things look like the husks the Geth used on Eden Drive. I thought the Geth got that technology from Sovereign. Elusive Man was right. Collectors working with Reapers. We can use this. Mm, husks have human characteristics, possibly repurposed colonists. No. The Geth impaled their victims on giant spikes to turn them into husks. But we haven't seen any. The Collectors must have already had the husks. They want the colonists alive for something else. Collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Let's go. All these empty buildings. It's unsettling. No signs of resistance. Must have happened quickly. Hostiles! appears conscious, fully aware, trapped in stasis. Fascinating. They've been like this a long time.
gonna use that. through that door. Oh, okay. I was just making sure I'm not... I just... You, I don't think you can go back on these missions, so I don't want to really miss anything. to hear them try to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors? You mean, they're real? I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda to keep us in Alliance space. No, oh, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. What's your name? What do you do here? Name's Delan, mechanic. I came down to check on the main grid after we lost our comm signals. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Commander Alenko here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Commander Alenko? Heard he was some kind of hero or something. That made nothing to me, though. Would rather he stayed back in council space. Any idea what he was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling he was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. Tell me about the colony defense towers. A gift from the Alliance. High-powered Guardian lasers. Supposed to keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. Had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. Why do you think this is the Alliance's fault? We're just a small colony. 
Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. I left Council Space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with that. The Collectors are targeting remote colonies. The Alliance was trying to help. I don't need their help. Too many strings attached. That rep said he was just here to get the towers online. But mark my word, there's more to it. If you have defenses, we can use them against the Collector's ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. Shouldn't be hard to figure out. Just need the location. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. It's probably just better if you stay out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. Scions. Now what's this? It's odd we haven't run across more frozen colonists. Colonists loaded onto ship. Collectors nearly finished here. Need to hurry. We'll be fine. Oh, that'll be fine. Whatever. Trust me, the game, there's no time limit, so... Everything is all scripted in this, so... This is a fucking boss fight. I remember this fight now.
Sorry, got a bit angry, got a bit annoyed down. Okay, many fellows. Normandy, do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Collectors will respond with force to stop it. Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Don't we have to hold them off for like two minutes? One less to worry about. You will not stop me. Face your annihilation. You are vermin. Your form is fragile. Sorry. We are your genetic destiny. Why am I am I out of bullets again? What the fuck? Should do the trick. adrenaline rush oops. you cannot resist this is true power doubtful that enemy has withdrawn reinforcements likely Dude, stop attacking me for once, you fucking assholes. Continue to protect the tower. Trying, Edie. <laughs> Fuck is that? Edie, we need that system online. Never. 
Ineffective attack. Recommend and something else. Guardian anti-ship batteries at 100 percent I have Criteria? First bitch. we can do. They're gone. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something. I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. More than most, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard, captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a legend, Delan. And a ghost. All the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you Alliance types. Alright. Go get killed. It's time to go. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. Been too long, Caden. How have you been? Is that all you have to say? <sighs> you show up after two years and just act like nothing happened. I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. Thinking you were gone. It was like losing a limb. Oh, Why God. didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I was out for two years. You've moved on with your career and your life. Why reopen old wounds? I did move on. At least I thought I did. But now we've got reports about you and Cerberus. Reports? You mean you already knew? Alliance Intel thought Cerberus might be behind the missing human colonies. I got a tip this colony might be the next one to get hit. Anderson stonewalled me. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. That you were working for the enemy. Our colonies are disappearing. The Alliance turned its back on them. Cerberus is the only group willing to do something about it. You can't really believe that. We both know what Cerberus is like, what they're capable of. I wanted to believe the rumors that you were alive, but I never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. Caden, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I want to believe you, Shepard. But I don't trust Cerberus. They could be using the threat of a Reaper to manipulate you. What if they're behind it? What if they're working with the Collectors? Damn it, Caden. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're ignoring the real threat. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of facts. Maybe. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe you're the one who's not thinking straight. You've changed. But I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. Always will be. I've got to report back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story or not. I could use someone like you and my crew, Caden. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'll never work for Cerberus. Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. God, get off your fucking high horse, mate. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony.
Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Caden said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive, and with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony, just to lure the Collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. I told you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and Collectors gather strength. Besides, they would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? It was hard to see Caden again. And now it's done. Best to leave those connections behind and focus on our mission. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. Something on your mind? No, just... There's a good chance we're not coming back, even if we get it done. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? The tank you recovered from Corliss indicates stable Krogan life signs inside. It is in the cargo bay should you wish to investigate. Oh, let's. Subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours.
Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank... Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir? Or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Oh, well, that was that. Just want to get this heavy skin wave. do instead of me going and getting everyone everyone's things incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hack at Alliance HQ Commander Shepard I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately I'll take this in my quarters God damn it Wow it's either a really small ship or... Commander, thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. See, Hackett doesn't care if I'm... Seriously, where is Miranda? What's 
wrong? They lost contact with New Kid. Might be the collectors. Did your family get out of there? I don't know. There's no communications yet. I'm sure they're safe. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter, and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. How did your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Okay. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You dodged a bullet. Fuck me, the loading is... Jacob wants to speak with you, Commander. God damn it, dude. Wait, what's... What this area of the ship? Just... That's all for now. Logging you up. Commander. Sorry, I haven't really had time to check in since we launched. Glad to be on board. And I have to apologize, I'm a little unfocused due to a personal matter. But I won't let it affect my duties. The Yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns bag, the ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Well, I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Okay, cool, awesome. So, three more dossiers. Oh, god damn it, fucking hell. Doing that one, firing recruit Tally. Ooh. Recruit the Jew to just a car, recruit the assassin. Okay, so I feel like I, I want to go recruit Tally first. 
Um, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go pick pick pee. I'll be right back. I was like, did that say recruit tally or help tally? But it's recruit tally. Um, she knows. She knows Garrus, and oh, but Garrus was on the last one, wasn't she? Wasn't he? Okay, let's go. Yeah. Oh, six, right. Um, what the fuck? Shepard, our data indicates the tally is somewhere in these ruins. There is considerable geth activity and an environmental hazard. Solar output has overwhelmed Hastrum's protective magnetosphere. Exposure to direct sunlight will damage your shields. So, in other words, say out of sunlight. Solar radiation is affecting shields. Unpleasant! So we'll fight from the shade, but no hiding. I forgot how good this gun this game was. Ah, shit. 
I'm dead. I'm dead. Hey, you motherfucker. The reason that I'm I'm trying to use different characters all the time because I want to. Cause I don't just wanna keep using the same player all the time, or the same characters like sidekicks all the time. Like I could have brought Garrus, but This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Patch your radio into Channel 617 Theta. We're on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They've got us pinned down. Can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radiation. How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. They left Telezor at a secure shelter, then double back to all the choke points. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep them off you. You've got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Affirmative. Left my best men with her. When you get here, you can talk to her on the comm. Every Marine on this rock is sworn to protect Tally Zora. As long as one of us is still drawing air, she'll be safe. Hold position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait! Watch your ass! We got a dropship coming in! Morden? Incoming. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we're gonna have a big boss fight. Told ya. I feel like the movement in this game is so much, so more fluent than Mass Effect 1. I don't know why, it just feels more fluent. I know that sounds really dumb. Excellent. Should be enough. Have to move quickly. Large impact radius. architecture old buildings before geth uprising fascinating why do we care anyone choosing to come here should be on their own that was a guess Sorry, everyone here is dead. Any survivors must have fallen back. We knew this mission was high risk. Damn it. And what are you doing here, Shepard? We're in the middle of Geth space. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Call Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Geth outside. What's this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer Geth shooting at us. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the Geth outside. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth and the console is damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. We've been spotted. Some sort of cloaking field. Cloaking field.
I love how it's like an ancient lock. But yet I still have to do like this. Like, why can't I just be shoot it off? Because you need the credits. Oh, are you fucking serious? I follow you, Shepard. Big things. Oh, I am not going to be able to get that motherfucker at all. time to get through it <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you the geth are near platoon strength but the colossus is the worst part it's got a repair protocol huddles up and fixes itself i can't get a clear shot while it's down like that i tried to move in closer and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit how bad is your suit damage Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. <laughs> what can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there. None of my men made it past the Geth. Middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do, has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit them for me. Keep us alive. Enemies inbound. Motherfucker. Okay, we gotta go. Move, move, move. Yeah. Why? Why have? 
have a fatigue in this game. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that was. Making sure it was dead. Just a second. I locked the door to keep more guests from getting inside. There, that should do it. Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Ah, oh, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty Board and let them know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Yeah! I got Tally. <coughs> Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Tally Zora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet, but I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Tally Zora the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. 
I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. <laughs> He's not the smartest cookie in the jar, is he? a new message at your private terminal. Wow. Give our intel, Ilium. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, let's go to Citadel, and then we'll call it quits. I, I only really want to do like three-hour streams with this game, everyone. It's not that I don't uh, like um, doing longer streams. It's just I think three hours is good enough. I just want to see what happens now. I think there's a big exchange of unpleasantries. Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version? They were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. 
You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Okay, save. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this stream. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to follow me on the social medias, there are links in the description. I will be doing more Mass Effect tomorrow night about 7 o'clock or 7.30, something like that. I'm also doing Fallout 4 on my Twitch channel in the afternoons. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye for now. Thanks again for watching. I am Slow Fat Wombat.